Baltimore, Maryland, where close to 69,000 fans have gathered at M&T Bank Stadium in anticipation of a great game between San Diego and Baltimore. And now we'll go to Tom Hammond and Chris Collinsworth for the opening kickoff. Tom? We couldn't have asked for a better day for football as we get ready for today's game. Welcome, everyone. Tom Hammond and Chris Collinsworth here with a call. And now their offense will take the field for the first time in the game. Chris, I have to say I'm excited about this one. You know, everything starts up front. Talking about the offensive linemen, about the defensive linemen, they have to play well in this one. Both coaches have to challenge these big guys offensively and defensively. Setting up play action. They don't hook up. A great play by the defense to knock the ball away. And these defenders have been close all day. You better be careful if you're the quarterback. One of those is going to turn into an interception. Tennessee, Tennessee. Get your hands up. Get your hands up up front. Tomlinson gets the carry. Cuts back and he's dropped. That run picked up a yard, maybe less. And that makes it third down. The Ravens are loaded with defensive playmakers. Here are just a few. Throws wild on the run. Tackled at the 28-yard line. And for as good of a catch as that was, this offense now has to deal with a fourth down. Cyphers will punt it, and he absolutely boomed it. Figures takes it at the 28. Brought down at the 41-yard line. What happened to the coverage there, Chris? Oh, come on. They completely lost containment on that guy. I mean, you just can't let that happen. I'll, I'll be honest. They were really lucky they didn't give up a touchdown on that one. Makes a cut, and he will be hit and dropped. A yard, maybe two, on the carry. They'll go from the shotgun. Here's the halfback. He's dropped around the 44-yard line. A gain of about a yard. That'll bring up third down. The Chargers line up with a nickelback. They motion to the right. Back to pass. Defense is getting pressure, and they get him there for the sack, and they're able to get to him on that one. Great job there getting to the quarterback. The defense went with the bull rush and just manhandled this offensive line. They've got to be more stout. They've got to be able to hold up in protection. He punts it. It'll go out at the 39-yard line. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. Nice play fake. He throws on the run. He's pushed out at the 48-yard line. Nothing wrong with that pass. It goes for a good game. You know, and when you talk to some of these receivers, they say the real strength of this quarterback is that he throws a very, very catchable ball. Looking to throw. Passes to his left. Brought down around the 38-yard line. And a nice pass to the tight end. So much of the game today revolves around those substitution packages trying to bring extra defensive backs on the field to try and help against the pass but when you have a big receiving tight end that really makes that plan awfully tough to execute and they were not able to get much there and so many times you hear offensive coordinators criticized because they don't try to run the football enough but when you get stuffed in the backfield like that you understand why they would rather call the pass play Drops back, throws it out, comes down with it. He's dropped right around the 26-yard line. That was a good-looking throw. Yeah, great throw, but maybe even a better read. He understood 
by watching what the defense did after the snap of the football, exactly where to go with that ball. Again with the run. And he will lose yardage on the play. The quarterback did a nice job recognizing the play and getting in there for the stop. For me, there's nothing more impressive in football than to see a cover cornerback able to come up and make the stops on the run. That's a complete football player. Rivers back to pass. He's been perfect on this drive. And they get him at the 15. Pretty good gain right there. You have so many people on this offense that you have to account for. The tight ends, the wide receivers, the running backs, even the quarterbacks. And now they're throwing to the fullback. That's almost not fair. Tomlinson gets another carry. He doesn't get back to the line. I don't think the offense expected the safety to come up on the ball like that. Well, you know the safeties are going to attack the line of scrimmage against the run, but you just don't expect them to get there so soon that they're going to make the tackle in the backfield. He's running out of time. He couldn't hang on to it. And the defender breaks up the play. Just great position that time on the defensive side. The receiver really never had a chance on that one. Single back formation, three wide receivers. He's looking to throw. On the run, he throws it. It's picked off. And he has plenty of room. Why did he even make that pass? Yeah, Tom, I think he got baited into that throw. He thought the defensive back was going elsewhere. He did a little fake, came back in, made the pick. Just a real heads up play. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 30-yard line. Flacco lines up in the shotgun formation. Flacco set to go to the air. The pass rush got it. The blitz caused some big problems for them that time. Yeah, that was definitely not a good play for the offense. I think they were anticipating a blitz to one side. They got it from the other side, and the quarterback ends up getting sacked on the play. Looking to throw. And they're coming after him. Dropped an easy one. An excellent job by the defense of disrupting that last play. And that was really on the wide receiver. Not much of a route, very little separation, and gave the defense a chance to make that play. He's looking to throw. Looks down the field. And it's caught. And that one was completed for a solid game. Solid gain, yes, but no first down on that play. So now it's going to bring up a decision on the part of the offense. Defensively, I think they executed that one exactly the way they wanted to. Punts it. Makes the fair catch. It'll be interesting to see how this quarterback reacts after throwing an interception on his last drive. They'll start this drive at the 27. First down now and 10 to go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Clean 88. Tiger, Tiger, Tiger. Hey, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a. He looks to throw on first down. Gets the pass away. Brought down at about the 41. And a nice pick up there. Nice play that time. The defense came with the blitz there. He made a good read, delivered a nice ball in there to the open man. Give to the tailback. He's hammered in the backfield. The defense seemed to do everything right there. And you love to see those linebackers playing downhill like that. Not just flowing sideline to sideline, 
but attacking and trying to get in the backfield. They'll keep it on the ground again. He's dropped at the 41-yard line. Pickup of less than a yard, and so it'll be third down. Third and 11 coming up here. Ball on the 41-yard line. Drops back to pass. Rifles it right. And they get him at the 45. Nice little pitch and catch with the wideout. Patience for a wide receiver is just so key. He's able to manipulate that defense, set him up one play, come back with the exact same look and break off of it the next. Beautifully run. They'll give it off here. And he's deep cleated at the 41-yard line. They got four yards there. That'll bring up second down. San Diego lines up with three receivers, single back formation. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. He's brought down at the 37. So a pickup of maybe three, and that makes it third down. San Diego is going with the offset eye backfield. Setting up play action. Great open field tackle. Nice pass play. It really was in the 80s that we first started seeing offenses throwing the ball to the fullback. You know, for so many years, those guys were just big blockers. On play action, throws it short. He hasn't missed a pass on this drive. No trouble airing it out. That gives him 100 yards already. Not a bad first quarter, huh? And before the game, this quarterback was telling me his arm felt great in practice all week. So we'll see how he holds up for the remainder of the game. Little handoff. Knocked out at about the 11th. Tomlinson gains around six yards on the run. Goal line only a dozen yards away now. San Diego is going with the offset eye backfield. Manu Maliuna motions to the right side. There's a play fake. Passes to the end zone. Chambers was the intended receiver, but they can't complete the pass. Offense facing another third down situation. They've been very effective converting on this drive. He fakes it. Short throw to the left. It's intercepted. Well, he looked like he was in the right place at the right time. Unless you're the quarterback, then he was in the wrong place at the wrong time. They'll work from the shotgun. And they use motion. Flacco drops back on first down. Passes it out. Drops the easy hit. Oh my, the quarterback is lucky that one wasn't intercepted. Yeah, you try and fit some of those into some tight holes and every once in a while, you're gonna get one pick, but that was a pretty good play by the defense. Little handoff. What a hit! Maybe got a couple of yards, but that's about it. Ouch! You take too many shots like that as a running back, you start peeking around a little bit before you get that football. He needs to get the pass off. Excellent open field tackle. They were able to complete the pass on the play, but they'll still end up short of the first down. And it's really up to the receiver in that situation to try and split the defenders. He has to find a way to 
duck a shoulder, to roll his head, to do something to, yes, they got the tackle, but they got it while I was still moving forward and able to pick up the first down. Gets it away cleanly. Sproles fields it at the 44. He's tackled around the 42-yard line. And that was a nice little punt return there. Wow, I thought he was gone for a second. They did a good job getting to him, at least preventing the touchdown. Of course, they wouldn't have to chase him down like that if they'd have done a better job covering the punt. Throws the bullet to the left. Nearly picked off. He should have had that one. Gates was the intended receiver, and he can't bring it in. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 42. The Chargers go with the I formation. Here's the give. Brought down at the 34-yard line. Tomlinson gains eight yards on that play. Third down now, they'll need a couple of yards to convert for a first down. Offset I formation in the backfield. Fakes to the back, dumps it out left. Tackled at the 22 yard line. A good play fake that time. It really was. I didn't see it. I thought it was a run play. He pulled it out of there and came up with a nice game. He looks to throw on first down. Throws on the run. They bring him down and it's first and goal. You can tell these guys practice that play quite a bit. Yeah, I can remember hearing stories about uh, old-time players in the NFL that literally they could go out in the pitch black and make throws and catches without really even seeing the ball. That's the kind of timing we're seeing today. Looks to pass. He throws right. And he scores. What a play. Nice grab there on the short pass. Yeah, it takes a little guts to play receiver down around the goal line. More often than not, you're going to take a pop. Good play that time. They'll look to tack on the extra point. And the point after is good. And now we'll take a quick look at the drive summary. Kicks it off. From his own goal line. He's tackled at the 29-yard line. They couldn't do anything against this defense on their last drive, and they were forced to punt. The Ravens come out with the offset eye. Here's the give. He's dropped at about the 29-yard line. McGahee gains about a yard on the play. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 30-yard line. Flacco is in the shotgun. He has three receivers split out wide. Green 88. Get off. Green 88. There you go, G. Quick game. 44 screw. Back to pass. Passes the ball. Brought down at the 41-yard line. The defense just didn't match up well on that play. But you'd never know it if you were watching the quarterback. He stood in there strong, completely relaxed, and made that defense pay that time. Flacco drops to throw. Makes the pass over the middle. He's brought down at the 46-yard line. He put something extra on that throw, and it'll keep the chains moving. And that's really what it takes sometimes, because defenders are so quick out there. If you don't put a little extra pop on it, they can get there. They hand it off. It's a fumble. They keep control of the ball. He really needs to do a better job protecting the ball. If he doesn't, the backup might see a few carries. 
And this is a talented guy, it really is, but he does have a little reputation for putting the ball on the ground. Flacco lines up in the shotgun. Three wide receivers this time. Drops back. He throws it. He's there for the catch. He's dropped right around the 42-yard line. The defense didn't have a chance on that one. Great throw that time. Yeah, really not much a defense can do when you get a guy that can throw the football like that. You know, you get yourselves in position defensively. You think you're in the right spot. You're going to make a play. And a guy makes a throw like that, and you go, hey, that's a good throw. Wilhelm bats it away, and the pass was knocked away at the last minute. Well, at the end of the game, you go back and you basically say what happened on third down, and you have a pretty good indication of how that game came out. Good play by the defense. Gets it away cleanly. Goes into the end zone for a touchback. The offense is looking to build off the momentum from their previous drive, which resulted in a touchdown. They line up in the jumbo set. On play action, with the pass, it's picked. And they get him up to 21. And the safety made a really nice play on the ball to grab that interception. You know, this safety is known for his big hits, but that time it was his soft hands that made the difference. Flacco with the give. He's tackled at about the 19-yard line. Nothing doing on the halfback delay. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 20-yard line. Offset eye formation in the backfield. Fakes the run. Pass is complete. He's finally dragged down and now it will be first and goal. Still a lot of time left, but at the end of one, the score is seven nothing. Here they go, first and goal, down by a touchdown. They'll come out in the eye. Fullback straight ahead. Tackled around the four yard line. No gain, and that will bring up second down. Four yards will get them in for the score. McGahee lines up as the single back. There are three receivers split out wide. He needs to get rid of it. Pro Marty knocks it down. What a play by the defender. And the quarterback really caught a break on that one that that wasn't intercepted. Baltimore comes out with an eye formation. Here's a pitch left side. He'll be brought down behind the line of scrimmage. Tried to find something, but there wasn't anything there for him. Yeah, not anything at all. And as a running back, you're probably going back to the huddle going, uh, guys, a uh, little help, please. And it's good. And we'll take a quick look at the drive summary. The kick. He'll return it from the three. And he gets brought down hard. The quarterback leads his offense back onto the field after turning it over on their last drive. Rivers comes to the line under center. Single set backfield this time. Back to throw. Fires it left. He's dropped at the 41-yard line. That one worked pretty well. It sure did, and I wish all our fans could see what's happening down the field on all our television broadcasts because so much of the game now is won and lost in the secondary. Drops back to pass. 
Dumps it out right. Fumble. And they fall on the loose ball. Good job on defense. They'll be right there for the recovery. Well, you get yourself in the right place for a recovery by hustling. And that time, this defense was really flying to the ball. He looks to throw on first down, passes it, and he's knocked out at the 20-yard line. And simply a great throw there. Yeah, that really was a nice touch that time. Perfect uh, sort of combination of velocity and touch. A very catchable ball thrown by this quarterback so that you don't have to overly focus on what you're doing and you can get your eyes back down the field, try and get a good run after the catch. Huge hit. Nothing doing. They stop him for a loss. And I really like the discipline of this defense. You never see these guys trying to do too much. They control their gaps, and that time there was nowhere to go. They give it to the tailback. Brought down around the 19-yard line. And a pickup of about two. First down now and 10 to go. Ball on the 19. The Ravens come out in a single back formation. And the whistle will blow this one dead. Here's the call. Full start offense. He needs to pay a little better attention to what he's doing out there. I think those are just embarrassing. I, you go back to the huddle and you hang your head and you give it, I'm oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Sometimes those linemen look like little kids when they come back after penalties. Back to pass. Passes to his left. Catch is made. He's brought down around the 17-yard line. Nice pass and catch on that play that gets him a lot closer. Yep, and that's really just the way they drew that one up. You take what the defense gives, looking to move the ball efficiently downfield with intermediate passes. Play fake. Makes the reception. They pick up several yards there on the pass. And that fake really was the difference. Not only did the quarterback sell it, the running back sold it, the offensive line did, and the receiver was open for a nice play. The Ravens come out with the offset eye. Fakes the run. Passes to the end zone. How did he get open for such a big game? Well, it just goes to show that you don't have to be the fastest guy in the football field to get open. That time, some physical play getting off the line of scrimmage, a good quick cut, and he gets it in for the touchdown. And the point after is good. And here's your drive summary for that last series. Kicks it off. And he's drilled. What a hit. So as the offense heads back onto the field, we'll take this time to remind you that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. If it's in the game, it's in the game. San Diego sends a man in motion to the left. Drops back on first down. There for the catch. He's tackled around the 34-yard line. And another connection that goes for good yarding. And we really see the trust that is developing between this receiver and the quarterback. That if the quarterback has confidence that you're going to be where he thinks you're going to be, he will throw it to you more often than he'll throw it to somebody else. Not much there. First down now and 10 to go. Ball on the 34. Rivers steps to the line of scrimmage. They'll come out in the single back formation. Hands it to the back. The defender gets him to the ground. Almost got a yard. That brings up second down. Two tight ends this time as they come out in a big set. Scatter, scatter, scatter. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Come on, let's go. 
on play action. And they get to him. I would expect to see a little better protection from the guys up front on the offensive line. Yeah, I have to agree. When you start giving up sacks like that, it really changes the complexion of the game. And I think in particular, the quarterback who has this clock in his head working. He starts to anticipate when the pressure is going to get there. And if he starts thinking it's going to happen sooner, all of a sudden the timing of your offense is completely off. A solid gain on that pass play, but it'll still be short of the first down. And there's really nothing a defense likes better than those third and long situations where they can play passively. They don't have to worry about giving up the big play. Just come up and make the tackle. Good hit that time. Good solid tackle. Punts it, and he got a good one here. He'll take it from the 18. And he's drilled at the 28-yard line. Decent return there. He'll give his offense pretty good field position. You know, I like that return. Nothing flashy, but it was really effective. The thing I hate to see are guys that are dancing around back there trying to be a playmaker when they're really not. At least he got up the field, got a few yards. That's what I like to see. Wilcox was the intended receiver on the play, and it falls incomplete. Second down now with 10 to go. Ball on the 28. Flacco lines up under center. Only one in the backfield this time. Baltimore uses motion. He drops back to pass. Throws wild on the run. He's dropped right around the 36-yard line. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play. Yeah, really a nice route that time. One of the keys to playing wide receiver is the ability to not only get into cuts, but to get out of the cuts. That time, very explosive coming out of that cut, and it made the difference. Throws it out. And they get him at the 49-yard line. He made the right read on that pass. Nice play that time by the quarterback. You know, we talk about progressions and going from one receiver to the next, but this quarterback is doing a great job in the pre-snap read, knowing who the first guy will be and getting him the football. Flacco will look to throw. Throws out right. Tackled at the 37. They just couldn't get to the quarterback in time. It's one of the dangers. You bring those extra defenders trying to get after the quarterback, and you're going to leave some man coverage on the outside. That time, the quarterback able to take advantage. McGahee on the handoff. He's tackled right around the 34-yard line. A couple of yards there. That'll bring up second down. It's second down and eight to go. Flacco back in the shotgun. He drops back. And the defense has a heavy rush. He's dropped. They got him with a blitz that time. This is one of those defensive coordinators who's known for his exotic blitz packages. He could blitz any time, any down, any point in the game. If you're a quarterback, you usually don't sleep too well before you play against this guy. Looks to pass. Goes through his read, and he catches it. He's dropped at the 28-yard line. Still not quite enough, however. They'll still be facing fourth down. The kick is up. It's got the distance. It's good. Pretty good kick that time, and he drives it home for three points. Nice job. Kicks it off. Taken at the five. Hit and dropped at the 22. They were forced to punt on their last drive. They'll get the ball here at the 22-yard line. First down, 10 to go. There's a play fake. Sacked on the play. And they couldn't have asked for better timing on the sack. The quarterback's going to have to start changing up his snap count a little bit because right now we're seeing this defensive line getting off the ball faster than the offensive line. 
If he doesn't start changing it up, it's going to be a tough afternoon for him. Fires it out. Makes the grab. Brought down at the 28-yard line. They hook up for a pretty good gain on that one. Nice pass. Yeah, good pass and good confidence by the quarterback there. He saw the opening. He knew there was a spot that he could get that in there. But you could see he had the confidence to let this receiver make a play. And that's really what pro football is all about. And it's completed. He's brought down around the 41-yard line. That was a big-time play by the receiver. And talking to this receiver earlier this week, he told me he had a lot of plays in the playbook, and he thought he was going to have a big day. They hand it off. He's dropped at midfield, a gain of nine yards. You know, one of the dangers of blitzing is that if you can break that first line of the defense, now you just don't have the pursuit in behind it to stop the run. Tosses it out. And they get him right around the 46-yard line. And that was a good effort to get the first. If you're running back and your big offensive line keeps pounding those things in there like that, keep converting these first downs, it really starts to wear down a defense. First down, looking to throw. That one could have easily been intercepted. As a quarterback, you have to go through your reads. That was his first look on that play, and he shouldn't have stayed with it that long. That was a bad decision. Rivers sends a man in motion. Hands it to the back. Brought down around the 46-yard line. And he manages to get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's all. Rivers lines up in the shotgun. He has four receivers in the formation. Drops back to pass. Short throw to the right. Tackled at about the 35-yard line. A decent gain there on that pass. Yeah, a little timing route there, and you really have to have faith as a quarterback to get that ball out of your hand quickly if you're going to play with that kind of touch on the ball. They'll throw on first down. Gets the ball away. Tipped away. The defender was able to get a hand on it. And really, that came as a result of pretty physical play at the line of scrimmage. They're banging these guys around and not letting them get into their routes. Looks to pass. He makes another reception on the drive. He's tackled at the 14. They pick up solid yardage there. And I love to watch this wide receiver work. He is so patient with his routes. He gets down low into his cuts, and he really understands what the defense is trying to do to take him away, and he is working them over. They tackle him for a loss. It looked as if the offensive line just collapsed. That and it looked like this defensive line just beat him off the snap. Sometimes those guys can time out the quarterback's cadence. And if the quarterback doesn't start changing that snap count, his offensive line is going to really struggle. They hand it off. He gets out to about the 12-yard line. Tomlinson gains about two yards on the run. Just about 12 yards away now. The Chargers come out in the shotgun. There are three receivers wide. Looking to throw. End zone. He gets in for six. Outstanding play to the wide receiver as he took it the distance. Well, that's just a big time pitch and catch right there. The quarterback made a beautiful throw, but it was the route by the wide receiver that set it up. He was as open as I've seen all afternoon. Set down. The kick is up. San Diego is up one. Here's a quick look at the drive summary.
Kicks it off. Taken from the three yard line. Hit and dropped at the 32 yard line. Once again, we'll take this opportunity to remind you that this game is brought to you by the fine folks at EA Sports. Baltimore comes out with three receivers in the shotgun. First down, looking to throw. Brings it in. That pass is good for a first down. And he had some zip on that one, didn't he? He reared back and threw that one about as hard as he could. He drops back to pass. Dumps it out left. Batted away. And it's batted away at the last minute by the defender. Just when it looked like the quarterback might sneak that one in there. A late pass defense and a good play. Clayton motions to the right side. Looking to throw. The pocket is collapsing. Here's the pass. Going deep to the right. And now the offense will be faced with a third down situation. They line up at the 43. The defense is in the dime. Back to pass. Gets the pass out. He's dropped right around the 42 yard line. Everything seemed to work perfectly on that one. And that's a pattern that this team likes to run. You know they've been studying that all week on film, and yet they still can't stop it. Drops back to pass. Huge pressure by the defense. The hit came just as he got the ball away. And this quarterback's a pretty tough guy, but when you see those big guys running at you, it makes all the difference in the world. Play action. Dumps it out right. Brought down at the 28-yard line. A good play to the tight end that time. And tight ends are so big that as coverage people, it's tough to figure out how to defend them. If you're on their left side, they throw it to their right side. If you're behind them, they throw it in front. Tight ends are tough to cover. Sets up the play action with the catch. He's brought down around the 24-yard line. Four-yard gain on that play fake. The Ravens line up with an offset eye backfield. Baltimore sends a man in motion to the right. Looks to pass. Flacco will be dropped in the backfield. And that's sack number four in the game. The pressure by this defense has been there all day. And offensively, they're just struggling trying to come up with a protection scheme that works. Flacco changes the play at the line. The offense calls a timeout. And that was their first timeout. It's third and 14. One minute left to play in the first half. He's looking to throw. He's under a heavy rush. Brings this one in. Tackled about the 27-yard line. So that's a gain of about five. The kick is up. It's got the distance. And right down the middle. And now we'll take a quick look at the drive summary. Here's the kick. Sproles takes it from the six. Hit and dropped at the 26-yard line. They were able to put together a nice drive on their last possession. They'll be looking to make it two in a row on this drive. San Diego goes with the ace set here. First down, looking to throw. Passes to his left. It falls incomplete. Not a good pass that time, Chris. He forced it right into the coverage. Whoa, that was really lucky. That one wasn't picked off. Not a good decision at all there. Play fake. Throws out left. He's tackled at the 44-yard line. 
The defense was looking run, and they threw it for a big game. Well, when you have a talented running back like this, you always have to account for him. That time, a nice play-action pass opened it up down the field. To the 10. They'll score. Touchdown. I'm sure that he doesn't even realize he's passed for 300 yards at this point. The only thing that he cares about is walking away with a win. He knows that the stats generally take care of themselves. They'll look to tack on the extra point. Kick is up, and the point after is good. And we'll take a quick look at the drive summary. The kick. Figures has it at the five. Breaks a tackle. Dropped at the 33-yard line. They had to settle for a field goal on their last drive. They take the field again, looking to put up another score. The defense is in the dime. Drops back on first down. Throws it short. There for the reception. He's brought down at the 33. And that screenplay goes nowhere. The offense lines up with three wide receivers. He drops back to pass. Short throw. And they get him at the 37. And a long third down try coming up for them now after that stop by the defense. And now we're down to the part of the game that I think decides most games. You make a good play on second down, now you're bringing up a third down situation. Either you keep the drive alive here or the defense turns it over to the offense. And it'll be fourth down following the pass deflection. Just terrific play by the defense. They followed the quarterback's eyes, made a quick jump on the ball, and were all over that one. He gets it away. Sproles fields it at the 27. Brought down at the 36-yard line. This offense seems to have found its stride as they take the field again after their last two successful drives. Offset eye formation in the backfield. Hit hard at the 40. Both these teams seem to have left their defense at the door as we head to halftime. Our score is the Chargers 21, the Ravens 16. Here's the kick. From the five yard line. Drill at the 28 yard line. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They come out in a nickel. Flacco drops back on first down. He throws left. It's there for the catch. Around five yards on the throw that time. Yeah, very safe, simple play, hitting the underneath receiver for a solid game. Flacco hands it off straight ahead. He's brought down at the 38. Four-yard gain, and that makes it third down. They line up at the 38. The Ravens line up in an I formation. Fakes the run. He makes the catch. A lot of room to run. He's tackled at about the 49-yard line. And this receiver just loves it when the defense is in man covering. Yeah, there's no better feeling than when you're coming off the ball and you know it's just you and the guy across from you. 
That's just good old-fashioned football, but you also know typically when you get man coverage, your quarterback is under pressure. Tackle right around the 42-yard line. McGahee gains seven yards on that play. Two tight ends this time as they come out in a big set. He tries to spin, but he's brought down. The running back gets about a yard, maybe less. They're not quite in field goal range, so this is a pretty important play for this drive. Blue 45! Come on, D! Blue 45! Come on, make a play. Tiger, Tiger, Tiger! Find out! Again, he'll get the call. He's dropped right around the 38-yard line. That'll keep the chains moving. Third down conversion's always so important in a football game, but when you can convert on third down on the ground, it just is a little bit extra special. He fakes it. Defense closing in, makes the catch. Brought down at the 24-yard line. He gunned that one in there for the first down, didn't he? He really did, and when you watch a guy throw a ball that hard, they don't move their arm any faster. You see him driving off that back leg. That was a pretty pass. Gives to the back. It'll be first and goal and they have a pretty nice drive going. And the most important part of it is they've been able to get it done on the ground. Now that's five rushes so far on this drive and a first down. Play action. Looks down the field. Tries for the end zone. Just clanks right off his hand. The defender got there in time to break that play up. He did. He was able to get his hands on the ball, but if he had missed that one, that one might have turned into a really big play. Another run. Oh, Hit man. and dropped behind Cameron the line. The that was a no big-time play by a big-time athlete. If you want to be considered one of the top cornerbacks in the National Football League, Everybody has to be able to cover, but the top guys can not only cover, but come up and make big hits like that. Tremendous play. Flacco back to throw. Surveys the field, and it's picked. He took a shot at the nine. What an interception by the cornerback. You know, some of these corners are just freakish athletes right now. Oftentimes, they're the best athletes on the field. Maybe they don't have the skill set, great hands, great moves, whatever, but they are definitely among the fastest in the NFL. They hand it off. Dropped behind the line. Looked for a seam, but he wasn't able to find anything. And let's give credit to the defense. They had a great push there. They got in the backfield, took control of their own gaps. Stiff arms, and the defender still makes the tackle. A couple of yards there. Not very often in a game does a defender get a clean shot like that on a running back. Typically, the running back didn't see it coming to take that kind of a shot. Scans the field, and he caught it. Tackled at the 27, and a great pass by the quarterback to convert for the first. And what we're seeing out of this quarterback is a variety of throws. Yes, he has the ability to zip it in there when he needs to, but we've also seen some touch throws, a very complete repertoire. This one might have been a false start on the offense. Let's get the call. Full start, offense. And that one got him five yards. Well, if you want to know why Pee Wee football down. coaches make you run a lap if you jump off sides, it's because it can really have a negative impact on your offense, just like that one. Tiger, Tiger, Tiger! 
He drops back to pass. Gets it off. He's brought down right around the 32-yard line. Another fine pass and catch on that play. I know we all talk about 40-yard dash times in the NFL, but as a receiver, if you are a great route runner and you understand what the defenses are trying to do to you, it doesn't matter if you run a 4-3-40. If you can get in and out of your cuts like this guy, you will always be able to play. The offense facing another third down here as they line up. The Ravens bring in the nickel packing. Drops back. Goes through his read. And he's out of bounds, incomplete. He couldn't get two feet in on that one. Well, that's something receivers work on all the time, dragging that back toe, just unable to do it that time. Figures is back deep to return the punt. He punts it. Makes the fair catch. Quarterback threw a pick on their last drive. Let's see if he's able to shake it off. First and 10. Ball on their own 23. They line up in a one-back set. There's a play fake with a pass. Tipped it away. And he just managed to get a piece of it. Nice play by the defender. And as a receiver, you really have to do a better job of coming back to the football at that point. You have to help the quarterback. McGahee gets the ball left side. He didn't get back to the line. That quarterback just made this offense look bad. One of the tough things about trying to get a cornerback blocked is how athletic those guys are. If you're a fullback or an offensive lineman or somebody out in front trying to make that block, it's just tough to get a hand on those guys. They're quick. Pass completed. He's dropped at the 28-yard line. They complete the pass on third and long, but they'll end up short of the marker. You can see the confidence level of this defense. They know they can make open field tackles, and that's probably one of the great lost arts in the game. The ability to make the tackle in the open field and stop them short of the first down. Good play defensively there. Hope will punt it, and he absolutely boomed it. Sproles takes it at the 32. And they get him about the 43-yard line. That guy just showed off some pretty good skills on that return. I thought for sure he was taking that one back to the house. You know, anytime you get a guy with that kind of skill level in the open field with a little room to run, good things are going to happen. Hands it to the back. He's dropped for a loss. Tried the run, but there was nothing available. And if you can make a running back hesitate just a little, that time you could see there really was no hole, and the running back was just fishing for a place to go. Rivers back to throw. Looking for an open man. Throws to his right. He's tackled at the 36-yard line. That one worked just as they drew it up. Good pass, good catch, I agree. Sometimes there's really nothing you can do as a defense to stop a well-executed pass play. First and 10, ball on the 36. San Diego lines up in the offset eye this time. The Chargers put a man in motion to the left. There's a play fake. Completed. He's brought down at the 34-yard line. Play fake is good for a couple. Second down and eight. Ball on the 34-yard line. San Diego goes with the ace set here. Play action. He throws on the run. It's picked off. 
Nice pick for the safety. You could see the quarterback that time trying to look the safety off, but this safety is simply too smart. He was having none of it and jumped in front to make the interception. McGahee gets the ball left side. Tackled around the eight-yard line. A gain of a yard, if anything, on the run. They line up at the eight. Let's go, let's go right, right, right. McGahee alone in the backfield. And they'll run him again. He gets to about the 17-yard line. The offensive line really got a good push there, allowing the back to pick up nine on the play. Flacco lines up under center, two tight ends in the formation. He's under pressure. They get to it. Not much point in going for this one. I expect to see him punt it away here. Poke is the punter. Poe kicks it, and man, did he get a leg into this one. Sproles fields it at the 48, and they get him right around the 44-yard line. Not a bad return there. That was really a good effort. There wasn't a ton of room for him to run, but he was able to get up the field, get a few yards. You never get upset with a punt return guy like that. It wasn't spectacular, but he got the job done. Fakes the run. He tries to scramble, gets the throw away. He steps out at the 26-yard line. Nice job by the quarterback to hit the tight end for a decent game. You know, tight ends may not come up with those real explosive plays down the field all the time, but they sure are a nice target for the quarterback. Sets up the play action. It's completed. He's tackled at about the 15-yard line. Not too bad a pass there. Not too bad at all. And sometimes those little touch throws are actually more difficult than the bullet passes. Kind of hard to come up with the timing to hit the receiver right in stride. But that was well thrown. Passes left. He makes another catch. He's simply putting on a passing clinic out there. Yeah, and this defense should have to pay for admission to this clinic because I tell you what, he is teaching them a thing or two about playing offensive football. No matter what this defense does to try to stop them, they simply cannot. Fakes the run, rifles it out there. Defense pushes him out of bounds around the two yard line. That'll go for a one-yard loss. They did a great job of keeping containment there. There just wasn't anywhere to go on that one. Offset eye formation in the backfield. Fakes to the back. He's running out of time. What a catch! Touchdown! The defense can't keep him out of the end zone. That was his second touchdown of the contest. I really like to watch this receiver work in the end zone. He doesn't lose his patience. He runs the route, he keeps his focus, and he makes plays. He is top end in the red zone. Lining up for the point after. Point after is good. And here's your drive summary for that last series. Kicks it off. Caught at the eight. Still pushing. They get him at the 31. The offense takes the field, hoping to put something together after their last drive ended in a three and out. McGahee is the deep back as they line up in the eye. Go, 
They'll give it off here. He fights forward to about the 33. McGahee comes away with two yards on the carry. Second and eight. Ball on the 33-yard line. The Ravens go with the I formation. They'll go with the run once again. And he's hammered at the 35. They get three yards on the play. Man, oh man, that's what those defensive guys live for right there. A shot like that. And then they always get up and have a little something to say to you as you're going back to the huddle. Drops back to pass. Throws it short. Comes down with it. Despite the great effort, it will still bring up fourth. The Ravens are lining up to punt it away. San Diego looks like they're sending everything but the kitchen sink at this punter. Gets the punt away. Sproles fields it at the 24. Brought down at the 32-yard line. If the offense can air it out as effectively as they did on their last drive, it's going to be a long day for everyone on that defense. Tomlinson, the lone back. Here's the halfback. Tackle at the 33-yard line. And the halfback has nowhere to go. They line up in the I formation. Tomlinson gets it on the inside. And they get him at the 37. Gain of a handful. That'll bring up third down. Third and five. San Diego lines up in the offset eye this time. Short pass to his left. Defense pushes him out of bounds at about the 39-yard line. Hester gets him about three yards on that completion. Figures is the return man. Cyphers will kick it away, and boy did he get all of this, what a punt! He fields the punt at the 13. Seems like the coverage broke down a bit on that one. I thought they had him pretty well contained on that play, but he did find a small crack in the coverage, got it up the field. They were lucky they got hold of him. He could have broken that one off. Feeds it to the back. Brought down right around the 18-yard line. No gain, and that will bring up second down. It's second down and nine to go. Baltimore lines up in a double tight set. And they'll run him again. Tackled right around the 22-yard line. That's a three-yard gain. <laughs> That was a big shot right there. You talk about getting your bell rung. That was the Liberty Bell ringing that time. Flacco dropping back. The pass is away. He's tackled at the 26-yard line. About four yards on that play. Those slant routes against zone coverage, you find out what kind of man you are in a hurry because you never know who's going to hit you on one of those. Gets the punt away. Sproles fields it at the 37. And that return should set this offense up nicely. He did a good job there, finding a seam and getting up the field. You know, a lot of people don't realize that being a punt returner or a kick returner is one of the toughest jobs in the NFL. 
There's a whole lot of things that could go wrong and only a few that can really go right. Strong throw. He's brought down at the 38. That catch puts him over 100 yards receiving. Not much doubt is there, Tom, as to who this quarterback likes. He found the guy that he's most comfortable with, and he doesn't care which coverage you're in. He's going to this guy. They're going to pitch it. Brought down behind the line. The defense just ate up at point. Well, those defenders get paid, too, and every once in a while they win the battle. Clearly that time they were all over this offensive line. He drops back. Short throw to the right. Defense pushes him out of bounds at the 25. And a big catch by the tight end. And I can tell you this, there's nothing that defensive backs hate more than to have one of those big tight ends in the open field running right towards them. Rivers will look to pass. He's under a heavy rush. Brought down right around the 14-yard line. Good pickup by the receiver. And we've always talked about this receiver's big play ability. He may not be the fastest guy in the league, but you can tell he wants the ball in his hands in big situations. It's the tailback. He doesn't get back to the line. No one picked up the linebacker, and it cost them. And when your defensive line can handle their guys up front and not allow the offensive linemen to get down on the linebackers, it really gives those linebackers a chance to look great. He needs to make a decision. Hasn't missed yet on this drive. And that one worked just like they drew it up. You have to be careful with this offense not to pay too much attention to those great receivers on the outside. Sometimes those tight ends can really be a problem. Boy, did that pay off big. So they're ready for the extra point. And the point after is good. Here's a quick look at the drive summary. Booming kick. Figures fields it at the goal line. Hit and dropped at the 28-yard line. They didn't look sharp on their last drive and were forced to punt it away. The defense come out with five defensive backs this time. On the delay. He's dropped at the 29-yard line. Maybe a yard on the run by the halfback. We've got second and nine here. Ball on the 29-yard line. Single back formation, three wide receivers. Drops back to pass. The pocket is collapsing. Cooper bats it down. The pass was deflected and swatted away by the defender. I think the quarterback may have had to throw that ball a little sooner than he wanted to. The pressure was starting to get there. Back to throw. Looks for a man open. And it's caught. He's pushed out at the 40. They just get enough for the first down. That's just great offense right there. Anytime you have a third and long situation and you can execute a play like that for a first down, that's impressive. And they'll run him again. He's brought down at the 42. Two-yard gain. That'll bring up second down. They line up at the 42. Nickel defense. He drops back to pass. He's there for the catch. And they get him right around the 46-yard line. 
You know, it's really easy to overlook those big guys in the line, but they did a good job picking up the blitz there. Yeah, that's a great call, Tom, because when you get a blitz package like that and your offensive line can, first of all, figure it out and then get it blocked, it's very tough to cover one-on-one -on -one in the secondary. Back to pass. Scans the field. He couldn't hang on to it. What an effort out there. He just got his hands in there and broke it up. I love watching the closing speed of this defense. When they see the ball, they go get it. Drops back to pass. Looks down the field. Pass is complete. Knocked out at about the 37-yard line. Nice little pick up on that pass pattern. And I really shouldn't feel this way, but I get a little nervous every time this guy goes up to make a catch, you know, because he's had a little bit of a history of dropping some balls, but today doing a nice job hanging on and a big play there. Gets the throw off. He's tackled at the 25. He shows no hesitation and gets it in there to get the first down. Yeah, you wouldn't hesitate either if you were standing back there in the pocket. I say the heck with it. Get it out of there fast. Let somebody else handle it for a little while. They tackle him for a loss. Nice stop on that one. Yeah, great defense at the point of attack, but also very impressive. The pursuit to the ball, they were all coming there. They line up in an eye. Flacco drops to throw. On the run, he throws it. He's brought down at the 15. Strong, accurate throw leads to a pretty good game. Now, they didn't pick up the first down that time, but you drop back, you make a good throw like that. Now you're in position to try and pick up this first down. It's a pass on third and short. He throws left. Catch is made. Brought down at the nine. Great job to hold in that first down pass. This team is just so good at executing those short, quick passes and picking up first downs and keeping drives alive. He goes in motion to the left. Fakes the run. Still working. Rockets it out. Makes the reception. He's in. Touchdown. And that was a nice connection for the score. Just a great route that time. No way that he wasn't going to catch that football and score with that one. That was beautiful. Here's the point after. It's good. And now we'll take a quick look at the drive summary. Not a bad kick. Pro Marty fields it at the 7. They get him at the 30. The offense lines up and is looking to score again after a successful trip to the end zone on their last drive. San Diego is going with the offset eye backfield. San Diego sends a man in motion to the left. There's a play fake. There for the catch. Tackled at the 33-yard line. Hester grabs that one for a gain of three on the play. So that'll make it second down. The Chargers come out in a two tight end set. Defense closing in. He gets knocked out of bounds at the 44-yard line. The defense was coming with a heat on that play. Yeah, tough to match up one-on-one -on -one in man coverage against that wide receiver. He's pretty good. Rivers hands it off straight ahead. He's dropped at the 46-yard line. A couple of yards there. Nice call there by the defensive coordinator coming with the outside linebacker blitz, which really put some pressure on this group up front. Zebra, zebra. 
gets rid of the ball. He's tackled around the 39-yard line. A nice completion to the tight end. I always thought tight ends were sort of like pacifiers for babies, you know? Just about the time that you need a little security blanket, you know where to go. Tomlinson gets the ball. Stiff arms, and he's brought down. Tomlinson gets about four yards on the play. Second and six coming up here. The Chargers come out with the offset eye. The Chargers use motion. He drops back to pass. Throws it. Out of bounds, incomplete. Third down coming up after that incompletion. Third and six. Ball on the 35. The Ravens bring in their dime packet. Rivers sends a guy in motion to the right. Looking for an open man. Leaping catch. He's brought down at the four. Don't adjust your TVs. It's true. The quarterback has just thrown for 500 yards. You've heard the story about King Midas and everything he touches turning to gold. Well, that has been the case here today. This guy is slinging nothing but gold nuggets today. A great opportunity for the offense here as the big pass play sets them up with first and goal. Again with the carry. He's going to be tackled for a loss. That safety just came flying in there to make the tackle. It is just so difficult for offensive lines to account for the safety. Typically, that's the one free runner that you have. And if you have a top flight safety back there that can come in and make those kinds of plays, it really helps your run defense. It's third and goal. The offense a little less than four yards away. San Diego will line up in a jumbo set here. They will be short. They got two yards, but they're still short at the first down. Yeah, I really don't like the play call there. You have to give your quarterback a chance, even if it's just a quick slant, something like that, to get the ball in the hands of one of your playmakers and give them an opportunity to break one out of there. And he makes it. The field goal attempt Solid kick good. that time, and he puts it right through the uprights, converting for the field goal. The kick. Figures fields it at the one. Drilled at the 24-yard line. And they take the field with one thing on their mind, another scoring drive. Four wide receiver package out there. New 45! New 45! Let's go, let's go right, right, right. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. He'll be brought down behind the line of scrimmage. They didn't find any success on the delay. Well, the halfback delay is really one of those plays that you're dependent upon the defensive lineman really believing it's a pass and trying to attack the quarterback. That time, those defensive linemen, they didn't believe. Full start, offense. He moved a little early on that one. I used to always think that offensive linemen should go to the line of scrimmage and hold up either one finger or two fingers and look down when they get confused. Flacco looking to pass. Dumps it out right. No one can come up with it. Clayton wasn't able to bring it in. Incomplete pass on the play. Third and long passing situation here. Ball on the 18-yard line. Drops back, surveys the field, and he catches it. He's dropped at the 34-yard line. That's now 300 yards passing for the quarterback. But it's got to be a little frustrating to have the kind of success that he's had and still be on the losing side of the scoreboard.
Gets his leg into it, and he got a huge punt here. Sproles fields it at the 24. And they get him at the 38. They gave up way too many yards on the return there, wouldn't you agree? Yeah, without a doubt. As part of the coverage team now, you've got to free yourself from that blocker as quickly as possible. And if you can't do that, you're going to give up some big returns. Here's the throw. Makes the grab. Inside the 30. To the 10. Touchdown. Two scores on the day for the whiteout. Scoring touchdowns in the red zone is really all about small holes and finding little cracks and crevices in the defense. And nobody does that better than this receiver. Here's the point after. Here's the kick. Extra point is good. With under five minutes remaining in the fourth quarter of play, the score, the Chargers, 45, the Ravens, 23. Taken from the three-yard line. Drilled at the 27-yard line. They had to punt it away on their previous drive. The offense will take over at the 27. McGahey lines up as the deep back, eye formation. Gives it off. He didn't get back to the line. Big time play by the defensive end. Yeah, and we know defensive ends are probably some of the most athletic guys in the league, and typically you think about them getting after the quarterback, but that time he used his athleticism to make a big stop in the run. Back to throw. Rockets it, and it's completed. Tackled at the 41-yard line. What a play! We've seen this tight end doing such a nice job all day blocking, and now when he gets in the open field, he makes an explosive play. Looks to pass. Looks for a man open. Can't hang on. He just got in there and knocked the ball loose. Yeah, he'll be lucky if the ball is all he knocked loose with that hit. He may have lost a few teeth as well. The defense come out with five defensive backs this time. Looking to throw. Scans the field. Brings it in. Defense pushes him out of bounds at the 31. A good amount of yards that time on the pass. And running backs who are good receivers are pretty rare. You know, a lot of times those guys, they come out and they're good running the football, but they don't make the kind of plays in the passing game. This guy can clearly do both. He drops back to pass. Guns it out with the catch. He's brought down at the 21. That's a 10-yard gain. That'll bring up second down. Offense facing a second and inches situation. Ball on the 21. Looks to pass. And the defense has a heavy rush. It'll be first and goal. Great time for that type of pass. It worked to perfection. And that was a nice job by the offensive line, allowing the quarterback enough time to survey the field and find the open guy. Back to pass. Throws on the run. Pro Marty picks it off. And that's the second interception of the game by this defense. You know, it's a little bit just the nature of the game that if you're going to try and throw the ball down the field and fit a few things in there, you're going to throw some interceptions. He took a chance there and got caught. Let's go, let's go. Blue 45. Blue 45. Let's go. Here's the give. And I have a feeling this one's coming back. Holding. Offense. Repeat first down. It's first and ten. The Chargers line up with an offset eye backfield. 
Good yank. Watch the switch. Run, run, run. Black, now you're not feeling. Play action. Throws it. Brings this one in. Tackled at the 30. What happened there? Well, the defense was in zone coverage. They got good pass protection, and any time that happens, it tends to really stretch those zones and widen the holes. From their own 30-yard line. Tennessee, Tennessee. San Diego lines up in the offset eye this time. Luke 45. Luke 45. Rolls, rolls, rolls. King's right. Tiger, Tiger, Tiger. Now, 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 now. All that blitz. Regular, regular. Regular, regular, regular. Clock, clock. Let's go quick games. 44 press. 44 press. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Point it, point it. Screen here, Twan, screen. Under, under, under. under. Fakes the run. This one falls incomplete. The tight end couldn't make the grab. And sometimes you get used to throwing to those speedy wide receivers and the tight ends are just a stride slower and you saw it there. Throws a bullet. Tipped away. No completion that time and it'll bring up third down. It's third and 10, ball on the 30. San Diego is going with the offset eye backfield. Come on, D, let's go off the Come on, baby. Let's stop right now. Hester on the give. He's dropped for a loss. What about that play? Well, I always like to see an offense stay aggressive, I guess, but at least in this situation, it's a fourth quarter, you have the lead, I can understand the call. Cyphers punts it, and he really got a leg into this one. Figures fields it at the 27. At the 40, down the sideline. Brought down at the 25. What happened to the coverage on that one, Chris? You know, they just completely misjudged his speed on that one. It looked like they had him contained, but he made a nice move, broke free of the coverage, just a couple more steps, and he was gone. First down, looking to throw. There for the reception. He's dropped about the 15-yard line. Nice toss that time that'll get them a lot closer. You know, there's really no doubting this quarterback's physical skills. Sometimes he struggles with his mechanics or accuracy, but I don't think that there's really any issue. This guy has the ability to be an elite quarterback. Third down coming up after that incomplete pass. Third down and two to go. Ball on the 16. The Ravens come out with four wide receivers. The quarterback in the shotgun. And they'll try and get the first through the air. Is there for the catch. What a brutal hit. Chris, they love to run that play. Yeah, that's one if you study this team on tape, you're going to see them go to that in the clutch, and it worked again. Baltimore changing their play. Flacco to the air on first down. Makes the catch. Tackled at the seven. That last catch puts him over 100 receiving yards. And one of the things I like watching about this receiver is that he understands how to read coverages. More often than not, a wide receiver has to understand reading coverages at least as well as the quarterback. Otherwise, the quarterback will see one thing and the receiver another. So another third down upcoming for the offense. The backfield is in the offset eye formation. Back to pass. Almost intercepted. And the pass will fall incomplete. Fourth down coming up. And those are the kind of big third down plays you have to have on defense to get the ball back and give your team a chance on offense. 
Heat the man in motion. Setting up play action. Goes through his read. Interception, and that will seal their fate. I thought that was going to be a touchdown. You no, know, it's so easy to be really critical of a quarterback in this situation, but sometimes defensive players just make remarkable plays, and that was just a great defensive play. First and 10, ball on the 20 yard line. Big set this time with two tight ends. Looking for a receiver. It's incomplete. The receiver was out of bounds when he made the catch. Not a perfectly timed throw that time. Held on to it just a little too long and led the receiver out of bounds. Little handoff. Brought down at the 23-yard line. Just about a three-yard gain, and so it'll be third down. They line up at the 23. They'll go from the I formation. Not really been a close one as our final score is the Chargers 45, the Ravens 23.